Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. Today we would be talking about a candlestick pattern which is named as Dragonfly Doji pattern. So let's directly dive into it. Um, one point which I want you to, which uh, I want you guys to know is that this is a part of Doji pattern series. So if you have not watched um, what Doji, or if you don't know what Doji pattern is, or if you have not watched the video, I would highly recommend to go to the Doji uh, um, pattern first and then come back to this particular video because we will be extrapolating a lot of knowledge from that particular video. With that being said, let's directly dive into it. So what exactly is a dragonfly doji pattern is that it's a kind of a doji pattern in which what you'll see is you'll of course see a doji pattern for sure and but you will see a doji pattern something like this. So there will be a very long lower wick. So it will be straight. I have drawn it, uh, uh, you know, wrong. But what you will see is that you will see a very long uh, lower wick and a very small upper wick. Now, let's understand what is the, um, you know, what is the uh, market psychology which is going uh, on behind this. The market psychology is that the buyers are trying to push the stock in an upward direction over here and the sellers are not able to overpower it. They try to, you know, close the price. Um, the open close price is somewhere, you know, very close to each other. So as you know, from the logic that we had in our doji pattern video is that the market will be decisive. Now the market will try to decide its direction. Now, um, it is trying to decide its direction, but which direction is it trying to go in? Uh, that will be decided by this particular wick, where you can see that the market is trying to push itself upwards or the stock is trying to push itself upwards. So therefore, this will be, uh, you can expect a bullish trend from here. Now, will I directly just use Dragonfly Doji and go and sell my house and you know invest all my money in this? Absolutely not. You'll have to look at other patterns as well. Now, a very common way where you can, uh, you know, actually use dragonfly pattern is if it is coming somewhere near support line. If this kind of pattern is happening somewhere near the support line, then it's it could be a very good indicator. Again, not a investment advice. This is just for education purpose. But if it is happening somewhere near the support line, then you can expect that this particular doji, that actually the, the stock of this, uh, the price of this particular doji, um, this particular stock will now move upwards. Okay, now uh, let's look at an example of Dragonfly Doji. So here's an example where you see, okay, here's my drawing tool. Okay, so here you see that the market was actually moving downwards, but here's where there was a Dragonfly Doji. And this particular Dragonfly Doji actually had its lower wick larger than its upper wick. So therefore, the buyers from here, although the sellers were trying to overpower, but the buyers over here overpowered the sellers and they tried, they tried to change the direction of the market. And here's where you can see that it actually went down. So this was an example. This is all about uh, Dragonfly Doji pattern. We'll also understand other doji patterns in the subsequent videos. So stay tuned and subscribe for that. Thank you all for your time and I'll see you guys in the next one.